Hmm. I don't believe this shit that I'm seeing in the news. <laughs> it's hard for me to do this. Hold on, let me start this clip all over. Hang on, Wayne Stein, Chabba Tang, Tom Stubba Taita. Hang on, Slow Tool. Oh, no, that's Chinese, sorry. Wrong language. Let me start this one over again. Shit. Hula Bop. Steep Top Teak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> does that sound more African than it does uh, Spanish? I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let me see. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I have news for you. The earliest known... I'm going to read this so you're not going to be able to see me looking at you. You're going to see me looking up there at the screen. Let me do it like this. Does it look like I'm looking at you? Nope, nope, probably not. Anyway, I'll be right back and I'll read it to you. <laughs> the, the earliest... <laughs> the earliest... The earliest known Mayan calendar has been found in an ancient house in Guatemala. And it offers no hint that the world's end is imminent, researchers said Thursday. In other words, they have found a new... Mayan calendar in some old ass fucking house in Guatemala. Does that make sense? They found a new calendar. A new was well, it's, it's new to us, but it's really old to I'm trying to figure this one out. Is it newer than the old one? <laughs> or is it older than the new one? Than the other one that we've had before? Anyhow, what they're trying to say now is rather than uh, the painted room in the residential complex at Zucatopat was likely the place where the town scribe kept records. Scrawling com oh, sorry. sorry. Scrawling computations on the wall in an effort to find Harmony between sky events and sacred rituals, said the study of the journal Science. Hang on a minute. Um, they made it in the early 19th century, making them hundreds of years older than the calendars in the Mayan Codex. So they're older. They're older calendars. So wouldn't the other calendar that, that we already knew about maybe be the more uh, updated version that tells everybody that the world's going to end? Like, you know, why are they going to... Okay, whatever. Y'all know what I'm saying. Okay. The hieroglyphics date back to the ninth, the ninth, not the 19th, but the 9th century, making them hundreds of years older than the calendars in the Mayan Codex, which were recorded in bark paper books from 1300 to 1521. Some appear to be the 365-day solar calendar, the 584-day cycle of the planet Venus, and the 780-day cycle of Mars, said archaeologist William Saturno of Boston University, who led the exploration and excavation. <laughs> I got something for you to explore. <laughs> yeah, that, well. <laughs> damn. Cut. That's all about this. Anyway, what the, I'm going to get straight to the point without reading y'all the guru buru. Uh, <laughs> What did I call that? Guru Buru? Can I coin that phrase? Uh, that's Guru Buru. Anyhow, check this out, folks. Uh, let me get straight to the point on what this is saying. What this whole damn deal is about is there is a discovery from scientists and rheologists, archaeologists, or analogists, or whoever the heck they are. Some kind of an ologist has decided that the Mayan calendar saying that December the 21st, 2012 was going to be the end of the world. They said, that's wrong. There's a whole lot more time on the calendar 
They, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've renewed their rent. They they just found they just found something in an old house where they renewed their rent. So I guess the world ain't gonna end, y'all. But we're still gonna party on that uh December 21st we're still gonna throw one hell of a party just for them and we're gonna eat tacos and we're gonna uh, drink margaritas and tequila and lots of beer and we're going to burn all of our bills and a lot of people are gonna cut up their credit cards because they think the world they think the world that a lot of people think the world's really going in so they just you know charge up your credit card it don't matter you don't, you don't have to pay it back just live it up before you die right <laughs> well that's how i live anyway live it up before you die the best way to do is just enjoy your life while you're here on this planet you got a limited amount of time on this planet whether you got to deal with 2012 or you've got to deal with mother nature one way or another you've got a limited time on this planet enjoy it while you're here and it's exactly what I plan on doing. Y'all have a good weekend. Today's Friday. Right here on Lunatic's channel.